Hey guys, welcome back. It's I Never Played Before, and today I'm going to be doing an opening video on the bonus pack of Darkness Ablaze um, that comes with the Darkness Ablaze and Sword and Shield. They did have these um, pre order for about $3, $3.50, something like that. I think it was $3.50 because they were like $1.75 a pack. So I did pick up quite a few of those. Now you can still find these, but they have gone up a little bit in price. Um, they have uh, they have them on Game Nerds for four fifty currently. I know for a little while there you could find them for uh, four exactly four dollars. And so this is probably one of the best deals ever, and uh, not ever, but pretty close uh, that they released on uh, new product. It's pretty crazy because the price point it allows people uh, bulk pricing basically um, for without having to buy a, a ton of it. I think now they have, like, they do them in tens or something like that. So you do have to buy, like, a few of them, like $40 worth. Um, as far as I know, I haven't seen any of, like, um, you know, that you could just buy one or two unless you find them at a store or something like that. But I'm not too familiar with what those price points are. But the hits on these have been pretty darn crazy. Right off the bat, a Reggie Rock V. I, I ordered quite a few of these, and I opened up. A lot like probably about 100 or something like that i still have yet to pull out the charizard v max actually it's over 100 um i have yet to pull the charizard v max um from the darkness of blaze packs but i have pulled just about everything else uh i need the glock the colossal gold card and the mew the mew v as well i'm missing so hopefully we can get something out of here i hope i didn't jinx myself by saying that these were loaded because they were except for that one of course there's that i should have opened up more of these like just had them pre-opened so not going to be tearing in the cardboard probably do that for my next video that, do, 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 do. i'm keeping a lot of these sealed because it is such a good product people are just tearing them open so i feel like there's not going to be a whole lot of these sealed by the end of this just because it's such a good deal and it makes so much more sense to most people to just buy them and open them a drampa and a cinderace hollow Doop. throw that guy up there I'm horrible at organizing my bulk especially while i'm doing videos so it is uh, confirmed um, that Vivid Voltage is going to have the amazing rares. Um, they're not 100% sure. I don't think that if they're going to be like the same as the, the Japanese ones. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, they look pretty cool. They're not like over the top. It's almost like a silver bordering with a rainbow effect. Like the yellow around here is just silver. And then like the hollow or the artwork will actually bleed into this part and it seems like it's just a lot more colorful that's if it's going to be the same as the japanese one all right so started off with the v card right away but uh you know nothing's not a special one that's for sure this it's gonna make me a liar here it doesn't want me to I don't want me to get anything. I really want that Charizard V Max. Uh, I pulled the V, the Charizard V. Still no V Max. I just, I think I'm getting really unlucky with it. Um, unfortunately, it's you know how I feel like everybody has like one of those cursed ones. I think this might be my cursed one because definitely over the limit by quite a bit. I should have pulled one by now, and I have not. So we got Vulpix, Nicket, oh, dropping cards. Here's the uh, QR code while I fix this. By the way, guys, if you would like and subscribe, we have a 200 subscriber giveaway. Hopefully coming up sort of soon. Rare candy, a sweet, and a mudsdale. Wow. I swear, almost all the other ones I've been opening up have been loaded. Not, not these packs for some reason. But, uh, yeah, we're at 120 subscribers. 
<clears throat> so we are 80 away, and I'll be doing a nice little giveaway. I've yet to decide exactly what it's going to be, but I think it's going to be uh, I think it's probably going to be a pretty decent one. I would say. All right, the last two packs. Let's see. All we need is a guard, and that'll just fix everything. What we got? Sheldon. That guy. That guy. This one. That one. That one. Oh my gosh, this is brutal. This is brutal. I definitely jinxed myself by saying they're loaded. Definitely a jinx to myself. If I don't get the Charizard VMAX here, I have another pack off to the side. I'm going to open up a breakthrough. I just found it, so we'll go and open that up too. I'll open it up either way. Gatharita Kangaskhan, hollow. That was duds, man. Duds, duds, duds. Let's look at the uh, pools. Gatharita, Kangaskhan, Rare Candy, Vanilla. Just, uh, none of them are good. Not even the uh, Reggie Rock V is not that great. But that's okay. Now, let's see, where was that? I have a breakthrough chilling over here so let's get this guy cracked open i don't know how this one must have like slipped out of my booster box or something when i opened them up because I, I found it off to the side here cynical hippopotopotopotopotopus cubone snubble and a gengar hollow well that's pretty cool i was hoping it would be something better than a gengar but i mean gengar is pretty sweet Actually, I really like... Let me look at that again. I like that a lot. It's a pretty... It's an interesting artwork because it doesn't really look like Gengar. Because most of the time, I think Gengar's arms and hands are, like, really, really tiny. So this is, like, the first one. He's, like, kind of, like, ah, right up in your face and stuff. It's a little nicked up, but... Hey, I'll take it. Ending it with a hollow. Hey, thanks, guys, so much for watching. If you would like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.